Hello, my name is Stephanie Whalen, and I'm Chair of the Academy for Teaching Excellence at Harper College and Associate Professor in English and Interdisciplinary Studies. I'll be your facilitator for this course, and I've taught online for over a decade. Things were different when I first started teaching online. The first online course I taught was developed as an online course, but it was actually more like a correspondence course where students still completed their work on hard copies and either mailed it or brought it to campus. And they provided the instructors who had taught it before me with self-addressed stamped envelopes. And those instructors then brought um, the work to the post office and mailed it back to them. So even though that may sound easier, I think that you're gonna find that running the course through our learning management system, Blackboard, has a lot of advantages. So again, welcome to Teaching Online Successfully Create. I'm Stephanie Whalen, I will be your facilitator, and I'd also like to acknowledge the Academy Instructional Design Team. They work very hard to help develop and maintain and update the course shell and work with faculty members as they need help. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about what we're gonna cover in our orientation. We're gonna find the syllabus on Blackboard and talk a little bit about what the requirements for the course are. We're gonna find the course calendar in Blackboard and look at the due dates. We're gonna talk a little bit about the Blackboard layout so that you can find things when you need to and then talk about the course activities and assignments you need to help you get started. So now I'm gonna share my whole screen so that you'll be able to see what I'm doing as I take you through Blackboard. So here we are in our course shell. And I'm gonna start with the announcement section. The announcement section is where I post announcements that you'll notice went to your Blackboard. So every time I post an announcement here, I click a box and then the assignment also goes to your Harper email. Now we're gonna talk about where to find the syllabus. So the syllabus and the schedule are posted here. You'll notice they're posted as a Word document and as a PDF. And we also have a screen snip of the calendar as a table so you can see that for your convenience. Some of the things that you're going to want to note are that you do need to make sure you have a browser that works well with Blackboard. So usually the browsers that are recommended are Chrome or Firefox. Sometimes you might find that on different machines they work better than others. That may mean that your browser needs an update. So we do want you to check that out before you get started to avoid frustration. You'll also notice that within the syllabus, we have the policies laid out for the course. So once you get started, if you find that you're overwhelmed, you can withdraw from the course. And that is no problem because we'll make sure that you are unenrolled from the course in Banner so that you don't have a penalty on your transcript. But I'm gonna encourage you, of course, to stay with us. This is a pass-fail course, and as long as you get enough points to pass the course, then you'll pass with no problem, and we'll, of course, be understanding and flexible with assignment due dates if you need extra time or extra help. But that withdrawal date is Monday, April 27th, so please notify me and Katie Mikulau if you do decide that now is not the right time for you to complete the course. Now we're going to go to the course calendar. You can get through the course calendar in a couple different ways. One way is just to go to into tools and then you can look down through the icons and you'll see a lot of things that you need are there including the calendar. If you open up the calendar you'll see that due dates for anything you're involved with in Blackboard appear on the calendar. So our due dates for this course are the dark blue ones you see here. Uh, these represent the two orientation activities that are due on Tuesday. And then you have three things due for the first module on Sunday night. So using the course catalog as well as the syllabus can help you to keep track of the due dates. Now I wanna guide you around the course shell a little bit. So we talked about how you can go back and look at announcements here and that the syllabus and schedule are, are here and they're provided in different ways. 
So in addition to the files that we attached, um, there's also another section that you can click on that has the syllabus breaking, broken down by parts, just in case that's easier for you to digest. Next, I wanna show you the faculty contact information. There's a message from me with a little bit more about my background and then my contact information. Just send me a message if you'd like to set up time to meet individually. We'll find out which platform works best for you for virtual meetings and we'll get that going. We also have a section for course materials. Inside that section, you'll see a questions asked and answered section. That one's going to be pretty important because if you subscribe to that one by clicking the button here, then every time somebody posts a question or answers a question, you'll get that information. So that can keep you feeling connected to the course and what's going on and what's being discussed. Another very important section is the learning module section. So you'll see the course is organized into three modules. First, there's the course orientation. Next, there's that week one module where you're gonna create a syllabus and orientation module. And then third, there's the week two module where you're gonna create your learning module and a course orientation video. So what you're gonna need to do for this course is get started with the course orientation. And those assignments are going to be due by Tuesday. Let me show you what that looks like. In the course orientation module, you have the objectives, the activities listed, and then the assignments and when they're due. All the activities are provided in this folder, and then the actual assignments that you have to turn in are here as assignment links. So in order to do those, what you do is open the assignment, complete it, and in this case, the assignment is a statement of understanding, save your file again, and when you wanna turn that in, you just click on the assignment link there, and then you are going to browse your computer to find your saved file, select it, and then you hit submit. So the first two things you need to do for the course are, again, in that learning module section, in the first module, which is course orientation, you need to complete two things, the statement of understanding, which is just making sure you read through all the things you need to know for the course, and you save and submit that, and then the getting to know you discussion board. And the discussion board can be found here on the discussion board in the course menu, and you'll see in addition to a link to questions asked and answered, there's also the getting to know you discussion board. So you'll just click there. When you're ready to post your introductory discussion board, you click on create thread, Then it'll remind you what's supposed to be in that post. You can add a subject here, type your message here. And if you'd like to place a picture of yourself or an image that represents you, you just click here on the image icon and select your file and attach it and then hit submit. So for Tuesday, you need to do the statement of understanding and that first discussion board about yourself. And we encourage you to include a photo or some image that represents you, those are due Tuesday by 11.59 p.m. And then once you get those done, you can start working on the first module. And the first module has everything you need in the folder for the week and includes the activities that you need to complete as well as the assignments and when they're due. So in the meantime, I hope that all the questions that you have, you will post in the discussion board in the questions asked and answered section. That way when I answer it for one person, everybody will also get that information. Of course, if there's something that you are uncomfortable asking, you can email that to me, or if it's unique to you, you know, please email that to me. But if you post things in Q&A, that can help um, others out as they're struggling with some of the same questions. So I'm really looking forward to working with you. I know that some of you are feeling concerned right now because you're feeling overwhelmed by the amount of work that you need to do. So I'm just wanting to let you know that this is supposed to be a supportive experience where you just design your course shell 
and create an orientation module and just a first learning module in a course as an example. And it doesn't have to be fully built out. It would just be representative of your skills for getting that shell started, creating an orientation module and creating that first learning module. So I'll be here with you along the way and I've got a whole squad of Academy instructional designers if we need additional support. So welcome to the course. I'm glad you're with us and I'm looking forward to it.